Hey y'all, hey. Guess what? I'm back with another DIY project. Welcome to the Blue Rain Lifestyle. So look, I purchased these cute little planters from the Dollar General for only $14. I didn't know what I was gonna do with them at first, but as soon as I saw them, I'm like, I've got to have these. So I purchased six of them. I'm just double checking right here as you see me. And I'm like, you know what? I know what I'm going to do. I am going to create an oversized vase. Now, these vases typically cost two, three, four, five, sometimes $1,000. Did I say that right? These vases normally cost <laughs> two, three, four, five hundred dollars all the way up to a few thousand dollars. And yeah, I'm just, I was not going to do that. So yeah, you see me just sweeping it down with my lovely feather duster. I am using some E6000 glue. And we're just getting this baby put together. Um, I have played with the vision you all for over two or three months. But I had not yet put it together. Let me give y'all another view. I'm going to brush it down one more time. Just give y'all a better view as I'm stacking them. So what I'm doing basically is, as you can see, and excuse how I'm looking also, y'all. It was a just a chill day. I think I recorded this on a Monday. And Mondays are normally my quiet days where I'm just crafting and giving back to my spirit. So yeah, um, I am just going around the perimeter with a little bit of glue. Now, if you already know how to use E6000 glue, you know that it does not take a lot. So I'm not using a lot. Now, although you see me going around the perimeter, there is not glue all over the perimeter, you guys. I'm just placing enough so that it is getting on there so that I can go ahead and, yeah, lay the next one on top. You definitely want to be very careful with this glue. Um, I never really have issues with it, but I have heard some people, especially in the beginning, if they didn't know how to use it, they have a couple of issues with it. So right now, what you see me doing is I am just making sure that the front of it is lining up the way I would like it to. I'm being very careful to place it on top of the one underneath it. You want to be very careful with this because number one, you know, this glue is kind of toxic, you know, in your to touch your skin and all of that. It's an industrial glue. Let me just say that. So with industrial glues, you definitely want to be very, very careful. Can y'all hear me clapping? Be very, very careful with industrial glue. So I just stepped back so that I could see, is it lining up? Does it look good the way I want it to? Okay. It looks all right. We have no issues. I'm trying to find a better angle for you all, though. So if you made it this far so far, I would love to ask you to go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead, turn your notifications on. I would love to have you come back and check in with me to see what new projects I'm working on. Um, So I'm going to get ready to finish this off. I'm just kind of stepping aside, dusting the other ones. Um. Like I said, I've had these for quite a while. <laughs> and so, yeah, it's just time to put them to work. So I'm just going to speed through this process. I've already basically explained what I'm doing. Um, shout out to Inner Crystallization. I love this pendant that I got from you all. No, this is not sponsored at all. But I just wanted to shout them out because they are really phenomenal um i love this piece it's a selenite pendant that i have so yeah i um switched angles for you all here again i'm dusting it off one more time because i want it to be as clean as possible um but yeah now i just have to work on this one part so you all i don't know why it's so hard to take off the stickers on things like I always have the most issue when I'm trying to remove a sticker from things that I've purchased from Ross. I usually don't have a hard time trying to get it off at stuff off of the, da, 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 da. I usually do not have a hard time getting stickers off of things from Dollar General, but oh my goodness. This was not the business, okay? Like 
I really had to sit here and concentrate. <laughs> and I know you're like, well, why didn't you do that to the other ones? Well, honey, the other ones are not showing. This one is showing. It's going to be on the top part of it. So, yeah. I got a little bit frustrated trying to remove this. Um, this is in real time, actually, so I didn't speed through this at all. I'm showing you all how hard it was. Now I'm speeding it up because it took a little longer than I would have liked it to take. <laughs> but, you know, you guys saw it took me a minute to get this out. I even went and got... <laughs> you see me getting frustrated right there, but I even went and got... A cotton pad or three and not a cotton pad an alcohol pad just to kind of expedite the process but I finally got it out y'all so yeah we're gonna go ahead and do this top one I'm not worried about the price underneath as you see me explaining that's not important because why it's not going to show I'm not worried about that So here's just a little caution. E6000 glue should be used in well-ventilated areas, you all. Yes, it was ventilated in my house. My back door and the downstairs windows were open. Don't come for me. Don't come for your girl. I'm telling you. The dog babies were outside. Everybody was good. I do believe anytime I'm using um, glue. I like to have the windows open. <laughs> but yeah, I am really happy about how this turned out, y'all. We're about to wrap it up, actually, in a couple of minutes. But I definitely thank you all for watching. Oh, look at that donk. Y'all see that donk? So right now, I can't tell if I want this to be a little bit taller or not. Um, so I'm just going to stop here, of course, because I don't have any more. I'm going to go ahead and put this plant that I had from Ross. I'm going to put this in here, number one, so that it can have a little something petty to push down on here. But, um, sorry if you hear the dogs in the background barking. But, um, I'm going to go to my local Dollar General. Well, there's so many out here. I'm going to go to my Dollar General. And I'm going to see if there are any more of these pot planters. Because if there are, I'm going to go ahead and maybe buy a few more. Now, I'm going to zoom out so that you all can see how big this space is, right? So, I kind of want it to be a little bit taller. But I love the way it looks right now. Um, I'm still kind of working in this area. So if you all have any suggestions for me, I would absolutely love to hear. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get in a little bit closer now so that you all can see the final look of everything. I really do like the way it looks. I am not opposed to it staying this size, this height. However, I do think I want it a little bit bigger. So I would love to hear from you all. Um, give me some, some good feedback, you all. I'm still working to continue to beautify my home. And so if you've made it this far, I thank you so very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you a million times. Please make sure that you go ahead and subscribe. Give this a thumbs up and don't forget to leave a comment. Even if the comment is just a little house emoji or whatever. <laughs> Thanks so much. Have a wonderful evening.